everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we are going to learn terms of endearment, popular words that Thai people used to call their special ones. Whether it be a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or spouse, or someone you like. In this video, I'll be covering sweet ways, moderate ways, vulgar ways to call your lover every couple it's different right before we start i just want to let you know that i do my research before i place the record button i don't do tight guys so some things that i'm about to talk about really exist so let's begin sometimes terms of endearment can be used with people you don't know well but you like and you want to make them feel relaxed but if you use them with the wrong people or in the wrong situation it might sound cheesy and might scare them as well especially if you are a guy and start calling her one of these words that i'm about to tell you so please be careful and do it in a classy way otherwise you will look like a loser Kondi, Kondi. Kondi literally means a good person. So this one can be used for both genders. Kondi kong pom. So basically it means my girl. Kon suai, Kon suai. Beautiful. Kon suai tham rai yu. Kon suai tham rai yu. What you doing? Beautiful. That's the kind of vibe. It's from the English word baby and it can be used for both genders. B kitung kao mai. B kitung kao mai. Do you miss me? Kao, we write it as kao, but it's pronounced kao. Kao, it's written language. Kao, it's spoken language. If you write kao, it's acceptable, but it's Grammatically incorrect. Kao means he, she, or they, right? We learned in pronouns. If you haven't watched it, you can check it out by clicking right here. But a couple would refer themselves as Kao. That means I or me. Sounds confusing, right? Tua eng. Tua eng. It's related to the previous one. If a guy refers to himself, Kao, he would call his girlfriend Tua Eng. Sometimes to make it cuter, it will become Ta Eng, Ta Eng, or even Tua or Teng, Teng. These two words are the most popular ones that are used among of people from teens till mid 30s. Tirak means darling. I think most tigers would teach you this word. A sweet couple would call each other Tirak, Tirak. But some people use this word to call their kids, which is weird. Tirak can be used only between a couple, or if you are a sucker, then you will call things Tirak, such as your big bike or your new computer. Ter is used for a couple who is less sweet than the previous one. I don't think it's less sweet to be honest. It is a word that they think their partner will comfortable to be called. Ter literally means you and it can be used for both gender. If they are a couple, you wouldn't call your male friends ter. You 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 it's you in english people who use three thai words and five english words in the same sentence would call their partner you this kind of action is called thai kam anglit kam which means you mix english and thai when you speak which is annoying and most people in bangkok speak like that one one means fat or chubby. People will call each other one even if they are not fat. 
Do you call me fat? I'll call you fat. อ้วนอยากได้ลิปใหม่ซื้อให้เขาหน่อยอ้วนอยากได้ลิปใหม่ซื้อให้เขาหน่อย Babe, I want a new lipstick color. Please buy it for me. Now it's even double. Ming, Ming. I have had three Thai boyfriends, and all of them call me this word. Ming means you have a wide and shiny forehead, not completely bald. Or it can be used for both genders. p a m a p a and m a means parents in Chinese. A girl would call her boyfriend p a and call herself m a For the boyfriend side, it's the other way around. Here and no, here no. These two words are used for a couple where a boyfriend is a little bit older. Here, here means older brother in Chinese. The girlfriend would call her boyfriend here and address herself as no, no. Most of the time, no is used by a girl when she talks to someone older, like a lot older. Gear, gear. This one means you, and it's less rude than go and m u n Some people call their partner gear. Gear, เลิกงานยัง Gear, เลิกงานยัง Did you finish work? m u n go. Yeah, some couple call each other go. And m u n It doesn't mean they don't respect each other, or their relationship is less sweet than the others. But it's just the way that they feel comfortable with. However, these words are frequently used by couples, and they don't describe who you are and how your relationship looks like. They are just words, you know. So just choose one that your partner feel comfortable with being called. If you can't choose one, just call their name. Period. Don't tease them by calling them something that they don't like. What does your partner call you in Thai? And do you have a Thai name? Please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.